Sorry about that. The UPS lady just came. Yeah, so, yeah, what I was going to tell you was that I went to visit Aunt June the other day. Yeah, I hadn't met her either, um, but I had been wanting to meet her for a while because she's like the family historian. She has tons and tons of stuff about our ancestry and everything. Um, so what I found the most memorable out of all the things she told me was that um, well, she showed me this picture of my great-great-great-aunt, Mildred. I'd never heard of Mildred before, and she showed me this picture of her, and sh she looked so much like me. It was crazy. I mean, not that it hasn't, this kind of thing has happened before, like, when I saw a picture of my grandpa in the Navy. I thought he was my cousin, Sean. He looked that much like him. But with her and I, I mean, it's been four generations. Um, but anyway, she was telling me about her life and she said that when she was a teenager, this is Mildred. When Mildred was a teenager, her family just kicked her out of the house. I don't know why. Um, I guess it could have been... Could have been a lot of reasons. I mean, one of many. Like, maybe she got pregnant out of wedlock or... I don't know, people were you know, more strict back then. I suppose, I mean, I suppose she could have been in some, like, dark religious stuff, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, that wasn't very common back then. At least, not that I've heard of, but I guess it could have been, but anyway, um, so, yeah, when she got kicked out, she didn't have anywhere to go except this old abandoned homestead. And she just spent her years there, and then when she was only in her 20s, somebody or people took her into the orchard there by the homestead and hung her. Isn't that horrible? So, yeah, I don't know why they did that. Um, so, oh, my aunt was telling me that the house that sits near the homestead has supposedly been haunted by Mildred, and people have moved in there and they would move out, and now it's abandoned. No, I think a lot of people seem to have a hard time coexisting with spirit people. I think maybe people aren't spiritual themselves, so they don't quite understand it, and they take off. But I think that spirit people probably just want someone to to acknowledge them or you know, hear what they have to say. So, I don't know, I've been thinking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I hear. Yeah, that she haunts the orchard. Um, yeah, 
So, I've been thinking a lot about her. I don't know, ever since June told me that story about her, I just kind of, I mean, it's a sad story, and I, and then the photograph, I keep thinking about her. She lived up in Wendyville. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, I've been thinking, I'd like to go up there and like, go to the orchard and, yeah, do some, see if I can get some EVPs and see if she'll tell me more about her life. I mean, think about it, she's been there all these years, and who knows if she's ever gotten to tell anybody her story. So, I think I'm probably going to go there on Friday. That'll be fine. I've done EVPs before. It's no problem. It's fine. Yeah, I'll drive safe. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't know you had to go soon. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. be where Mildred lives. I'm here to speak with you. My name is Janelle. You are my great, great, great aunt. I didn't come here to cause any trouble. I just want to ask you some questions. I have a microphone here and my camera. And after I ask you some questions, you can just talk into this. Can you tell me who it was that hung you here? Do you find it odd that we look so much alike? I've seen your pictures. Why do you choose to stay here? I don't know if you're here. If you're here, please let me know by talking into the microphone.
did my ring get here? I hadn't even been over here. How'd it get off my finger?